play Chan Solo here. It's Halloween time. I like to get uproarious with my stuff, so uh, I'll show you. You'll get the idea. But if we're talking about props, I, I mean, that is Distortions Unlimited, Death Rising. I would say he's one of my first graduation props of, there's calibers of props, you know, the cheap ones, the little more expensive cheap ones, the little more expensive cheap ones, and then, but anyway, he's a great prop, sturdy prop, built to last. Who's not built to last though? Still one of my favorite props of all time. That is Demonica. Uh, this might be her last hurrah. So, actually this is probably the last year we're doing the haunt this style at my house. We're gonna try and step up next year. Spitting Debbie. See the little hose right here? Her head cocks back and she sprays people. Incredible, incredible. Oh, towering wailing soul. That thing sounds a whole lot like my pigs over there. <laughs> the same, similar, crazy pitch. See those canisters over there? Full of horn props. The main party will be here at the studio. Well, I'll just say this. When they pull in the driveway, they can't even see the haunt, which is great. Everybody comes and they come through these archways right here. And I was thinking we maybe have the bog zombie busting out of the uh, foliage. This will be a bunch of witches right here. Got some hideous freaking witches. I'm not even a big witch guy as far as props go. So if you get a good view of the graveyard here, we still got some fence paneling to put in. These, these big guys need to go up. There's a big guy going up right now. I wanted it to be like old school haunt that you did when you were a kid in a garage or something like that. You know, some like some kids club haunt, you know but it's really anything but. The entrance will be here. We gotta put the facade up and stuff. This is a furious burden of reapers in here. We'll have some stuff hopefully projected across the side of the house. Maybe some projection coming out of the windows. We'll figure it out. Watch your step here. Once again, no lights here yet. We'll just sneak through. Watch out for the stapler. A little bit of atmosphere coming, so gotta get this hallway nice and lit up. Into the library amongst the uh, rocking corpses here. And then we're heading into the vampire hive. This place is insane, man. Vamps everywhere. Take it in. There's a vamp fountain that works. She spits blood into that cup. That's a blood chopped off head fountain. There are lights for this to shoot. I'm not wild about them, but there are lights. Boo! We want better lights. Lunging vamps. These two guys sit up and talk at you and stuff. It's great. Then this is a uh, psychotic lycanthropy shack of woe. And I do mean woe to you of earth and sea. It's pretty good. Look at this guy. He was made for a Mardi Gras float. It never happened, so. Thanks for the tour, Phil. Ah, uh, my pleasure. Hope you enjoyed it. Everyone have an awesome Halloween. We love you. See you soon. Come on, Kronk. <laughs> <laughs>